Teachers and students can use the Pattern Shapes app in a variety of ways. When you open the app on the left, you will see all of the pattern blocks listed. In order to use one, the student simply grabs the shape and drags it onto the mat. This tool we'll talk about later, and it has templates where students can compose pictures using different shapes. And when you first open the app, this will actually be blank, and it will say no grid here. And you can tap on it, and you can create a grid with squares or a grid with triangles so that students can use the shapes in different ways. Once you have a shape dragged on the mat, once it's selected, you'll be given a tool to rotate it. You can also drag it around. If it's selected, you can hit the trash can to delete it. If you ever want to erase your entire board, you can either circle around it and hit the trash can, or you can hit the arrows to clear the board. Students can select a shape and change the color. They can also change the size, and they can use things like the equation tool to represent number sentences using shapes, and they can use the pen tool to draw and annotate. In this example, a student can show how to decompose a shape into smaller shapes. They used a hexagon and showed all of the ways that they can make a hexagon using the other shapes. They can then use the pen tool to write a sentence explaining their work. I can make a hexagon five ways. When you select this tool, there'll be a variety of templates that students can choose from. The goal here is for students to use problem solving in order to de decide how they can use the smaller shapes and combine them to compose a new shape, in this case, one that looks like a turtle. The students have a lot of fun with it, and because there's no lines and it's black, they really have to think about how they can orientate each shape and how they will go together, and they have to pay attention to aligning their edges. Students can also use this to label the attributes of a shape. For instance, they can put out a square and label the number of sides and write the descriptors of the attributes. A square has four equal sides and four corners. To take this a step further, the student could then screenshot or import into Explain Everything just a picture of their work from the app and then take photos of real life examples of that shape and put it into an Explain Everything project to present to the class or to turn into the teacher.